hi guys good morning welcome back to my channel so this is a vlog of me taking you guys with me to work and if you don't know i work a 12 hour shift and i do three days a week i work at a hospital as a registered nurse and i had my bachelor of science in nursing um i think one and a half years ago and i have been practicing making some money <laughs> enjoying it but yeah guys good morning so i start my shift at 6 30 in the morning uh no i clock in at 6 45 i leave my house at 6 15 so the day was a beautiful day there was no traffic i was just balling down the street the light was just green on my side like guys i was just going okay yeah so i left my house and i am going to work so i reach the work and i park the parking distance from where i parked or where we supposed to park to the hospital is a long route okay they just want us to wake up <laughs> Yeah, so I walked this long distance and we usually get in through the emergency department because it is always open and there are securities always there. But the main entrance closes at that time, like 6.40, they are closed, okay? Yeah, guys, so I walked in through this entrance. We always have a security person at the door holding us face mask to both the workers and patient coming in for emergency services yeah guys so let's just go as i take you guys along you guys will see my routine of a floor nurse working a 12 hour shift in a hospital yeah so i claw i did get in the emergency room and i am looking for where to clock in and there are clock in machines everywhere in the hospitals and we have different units for different diagnoses for different treatment so yeah so i am on the second floor and i am going right to the fourth floor but there's a clock in machine here that i fell in love with okay because i feel like it is more on towards my side so i'm going to clock in uh clocking in some dollars so i just did and i'm heading now to take the elevator to my floor this is your girl right here already so when i get to my floor we are all assigned lockers i try to get all my necessities like my scissors my highlighter my marker my clipboard my stethoscope all that goodness um because i don't bring them home i always just leave them at work that way it's easier i don't get to forget anything why i'm at work because these are very essential things guys so when I get all of that, I always like to hang my stethoscope on my neck. That way it gives, it, it's not like on my way. And I am going to head to the floor. I get a vocera. This is what we use to communicate throughout the hospital. I get one and I always like to get a new battery and change it. Then I sit down for a little bit, try to open about my patient, read more about them. The more you read about your patient before you actually start your shift, you get to take care of them better because at least you know something about them. Don't be that nurse that arrived just on time. So, and then I go in the supply room, I gather all my supplies that I'm going to need for that day. When I'm done that, I always head down to the cafeteria for some breakfast. Then I just find a minute to quickly eat something. And when I eat, I roll on the floor, baby. I roll on the floor. I start with my most critical patients. I try to stabilize them, like, you know, try to put more attention on them. But this day, guys, it wasn't a good day. It was a day that I had to go to the ED, to the emergency department to pick up a patient. As a nurse, I don't know which nurse would like admission because I don't. I don't like admission because it's a lot of work. So you, yeah. 
So I was heading to the ED to go get a patient. Usually when we are told we have a patient at the ED, our time frame we have to pick the patient up is 45 minutes. So I did that, came back to my floor. This is my floor. So I came back. Most of my patient for this day was on this side of the unit. So you guys are going to see me more on this side. We have our pixies also on this side and we have so many things on this side so you guys will mostly see me on this side and guys this day was a tough day i started with four patients within an hour i picked up a patient in the ed i ended up having five patients two were on isolation yeah so it kept me like really really busy that day and yeah that's just how the hospital is it keeps you like on your feet yeah so they are very big on getting into isolation like you have to gown up you have to like get like you have to be ready you have to dress properly to get in any isolation room and this day and i think this was a contact isolation or airborne i'm not sure but yeah so i got out of it i'm doing my other things um and usually at this time this is like the most busiest time when you are doing morning medication and you are having a patient to pick up or that you have picked up like there's just so much happening at this time when i've had my breakfast guy like no tax would challenge me okay yeah, so at this time, I was just doing medication pass. I had a patient uh, that was supposed to be on G-Tube, and I'm just trying to set up. I ran around, was looking for a tube, for a feeding machine. I found one, so I'm just going to set the patient up, and then we roll as the day goes by. And usually, we have our round with the doctors around 11 p.m., this is our snack room. So I'm getting snack for a patient that requested for one. Uh, yeah, guys. So this is how my 12-hour shift actually goes. It is quite busy. And this was the end of the shift. And I was so exhausted at this moment. I was like really exhausted. I couldn't wait to come back. And I was coming back the next day. Sometimes I do go three days straight. Other times I take it one at a time. Other times I go two days and then I get like two days off and then I go back one more day. But it just depends on my well, you know schedule for that week, how I plan myself, or if I have other things doing outside of work. But yeah, guys, it is really interesting working in a hospital. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys need more videos like this? Like i'm free to do that hi guys my ship has ended and i'm heading to my car it was a busy day as always and i hope you guys will enjoy the vlog please guys thumbs up appreciate because it took a lot for me to bring this video out a lot of inconvenience that it took all right guys let's go home it's dark outside let me show you 